the supply chain management project we have on the channel it's one of the powerful portfolio project which you can include in your web3 development i'm really glad that many of you have used this as a final year project in your colleges so in this video i'll show you the complete setup which you have to do once you get the source code how you can run the entire project manually in local load and at the end i will deploy the contract to the polygon test network so if you want to use any test network you will learn that as well so many of you have requested me to make a dedicated video on this particular project where i can show you how to do the entire setup once you will get the source code so that's what we're going to learn in this video to get the source code what you have to do is come back to the blockchain coder the source code section and from here you can download that one this is the section where you have to come and i will also provide the link in the description so you can come and you can download that one once you download the project this is the zip file you will get simply click on that and you have to unzip this folder and that you will find all the code which we have written for the supply chain management simply open that particular folder and come here and here i have the folder click on that and that's what i'm going to open it so this is the exact piece of code you will get when you will download the file and in that you will find all the components all the pages we have worked on so this is the get this is the next and this is the artifact we have this is the simply delete this one because we're going to redeploy the contract and when we deploy the contract it will generate the artifact so simply delete that one and we have to delete the cache as well so make sure you have to follow the exact step which i'm following in this video so here we have the component inside the components this is the context this is the contract and this is the huge contract we have written for this marketplace for this is the images and that we will find all the images we have used in the project this is the pages so right now we have these two pages app.js and next.js here we have the public but we don't have anything in that and this is the script folder we have inside the script folder this is the entire deploy script we have written our deploy script closes one and this is the starter file so if you want to start working on the project along with me so it's a quite long video in this starter file you will find the entire setup of the project so in this you will find this git this is the component and in the csv file you will find all the icons we are using so this is the csv and this is the empty component so i build the entire architecture so you don't need to build that one so this is the entire shipping complete component and here we have the forum here we have the index and that we're going to import all of that so this is the entire component we have you can close that one and here we have the style folder inside that you we are simply configuring our telvin css and this is the coloring and the image scales we have so you will get the exact setup here we have the test which we are not using it and this is the entire get ignore file this is the hardhead configuration so in this video i'll show you that how you can deploy the contract on the local host and do the testing of the contract and at the end i will also going to deploy the contract to the polygon test network and we're going to make it live transaction on the test network polygon and that's all configuration we're going to do in this video right here in the hardhead config file looks pretty fine to me no problem we have this is the next js configuration so this is exact what you will have and this is the package JSON files looks pretty fine nothing you need to do here and here we have the actual package JSON file and here you will find all the dependency which we are using in the project so many of you have said that this web3 model is depreciated yes but you can use this particular version because this one is stable right now and you can have that in your project so that's also looking fine all of this dependency we have and here we have this post css configuration for the tailwind which i have done make sure to do it exactly so this will you will have and this is the tailwind css configuration for the components that looks pretty fine now we have to install the dependency because right now you can see that we don't have node modules and we have to install all the dependencies so first thing you have to do is open up your terminal and we have to install the packages all the packages so you can type npm i or you can type npm install both will work fine hit enter and this is going to install the entire dependency for the project right now you can see i have no issues everything is working fine and here the installation is completed okay and if you are facing any error make sure to watch the complete video i'll try to cover every single possibility which you can face if you are having an issue with the code so you can see in my end everything's working fine so we have installed all the dependency looks pretty good clear your terminal and here you will find this node module and in that you will have all the packages you have installed and their dependencies 
so this one is also working fine we have no issues in that now supply come up here and sometime what will happen that maybe when you will run this npm install and npm i install npm i sometimes some package will cause an issue maybe right now it's not happening but maybe in future after three years or two years some major changes take place in the packages so maybe you will have some issues so in that context what i want you so what we can do is simply you simply copy this entire package json and we're going to paste here in this readme file you can see that everything is working fine when we installed by typing npm i and we can come here and now we're going to simply remove all the packages which we are using here so i'm showing you the both way if the first way is not work and if you encounter any error then you have to do this but first you have to simply type npm i and install the packages okay simply remove that one i'm going to remove that and here first thing we have to delete this node module because we're going to install it one by one and that's how you can do it one by one so simply grab this package come back here right now you can see where we haven't have anything in here in the package json file and now we're going to install one by one so we'll type npm i and we have to simply remove this and we have to give at the rate and hit enter this will install the particular package with the same version you can see we have installed the dependency so this is the one way this is the second way of installing the packages if you are encountering any error in the first way so what i will do i'm going to simply grab that one and that's the exact packages we have installed here and this is not what i'm going to do right now i'm going to simply install all the packages so simply delete this node module i will come here and i'm going to grab the entire packages and file so simply drag and simply copy this one come here and simply replace that one simply select all this and paste here and now we can simply install the package in one go so we'll simply type npm i npm so right now we don't have node model we'll type npm i and this will install all the dependency so if this not work at the very first then you can install the second way by installing one by one and that will fix the issue just wait then let the installation is completed and here we have installed all the packages in our project we have no issues in that we have 11 vulnerability but you don't need to worry about that simply ignore that one and clear your terminal i'm using mac so i'm typing c l e a r clear and that's working fine now i am going to start the application simply type npm run dev and here we have this script dev environment and that's what we are running click on this you can see our application is working absolutely fine if i reload the browser nothing error we have if i click on the metamask I can simply log out with the application click on log out and reload the browser we haven't have any issues click on this and we can simply log let me pass my credentials and unlock so i'm connected with this wallet it's taking a little bit time just wait and here we are connected with the application so right now you can see that we haven't have any product tracking because it, we have to deploy the contract and then we have to create the contract and there is no data we have in the contract right now so looking fine let's come back to the vs code and now i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear my terminal i'm going to stop the application from running close this one close this one and now we can come and do one thing now we have to deploy the contract so if we come back here in the script and this is the contract deploy script which we're going to use to deploy the contract so simply split the terminal and this one is the most important point you have to understand that how we are deploying the contract on the local host what are the configuration we are doing how we are building the struct let's say script try to understand this very clearly okay so here we have to type simply two commands so first we have to start the local node in our computer so we can test our contract locally and this is how you can do it which is really easy because of the hard hat so simply type npx hard hat node and this will run the internal node in your computer and it will give you 20 plus account you can see you have 20 plus account which you can import in your metamask and you can test your contract because each account will contain thousand ether all of these 20 accounts it will give you so here you can see if i click on the metamask right now i have imported all of these accounts so this is the account one account two account three accounts five so all of these accounts are from the metamask 
and that's how you can import right now you can see our application is stopped that's why you can't able to see the balance but when we'll connect the our application with the metamask all the balance will reflect in the metamask so now let me show you that how you can import the account all of this account you have you can pick any one of that and you can import that so i'm going to take this account number seven so this is the wallet address of your account and in this particular account has 10,000 ether and this is the private key and this is what you need to import your account simply save copy that one and come back here click on this and here you have to click on import account paste here and import so this is how you can import your account from hardat in your metamask right now we are not connected it's try to fetching the data don't need to worry about that it's connected successfully so make sure to keep running this hardat node and now here we have to write the deploy script and now here we have to deploy the contract to the local host so let me bring this down and let me paste this command so this is the exact command you have to type npx hard hat run network local host script so npm hard hat run this is the network you have to define so here we are defining local host and this is the script and there we have this deploy and this is the script we are deploying now hit enter once you do that, it's going to deploy the contract to the local host. So this is the exact command you have to give. Hit enter and just wait. It's compiling the contract and here we got the address of the contract. So this is the address of the contract and when you will deploy the contract, it will create the artifact and the package JSON file. And we need the JSON file of our contract to interact with the blockchain. So here we will find this artifact folder which will create it when you will deploy the contract. Inside that you will have this contract. Inside the contract you will have these two files. So this is the cache which is not that important but here in the context we have this like old tracking JSON file and we, I'm going to delete this one. Make sure you delete that too. Once you delete that you have to drag and drop the new one. So come back into the contract. Inside the contract you will have this tracking.json simply drag and drop here in that so this is the setup you have to do exactly the way i'm doing so this is the entire json file for the contract now let's come back to the context and here you have to paste the address so right now we have deployed one contract so in your case when you will deploy the contract this is the exact address you will get if you're using hard hat so this is the exact address you will get so what i will do i'll simply select this one and i'm going to replace this one because both the addresses are same so this is the address of the contract and if you have multiple contracts, so the first contract address will be this, the second contract address will be different. Okay, that's how the hardware generate the address of the contracts. So that's the only setup you have to do. Now I'm going to start the application. I will clear that and I'm going to start the application. But one thing you have to keep in mind that these local nodes should be running. You don't need to stop the local node. Otherwise, you can't able to test the contract. Now we have to simply type npm run dev hit enter. And this is going to start the application on localhost 3000 really the browser and here you can see application is working fine we have no issues in that and here we are connected with the wallet come here and you can see you can pick the account so what i will do i'll simply close that one i will click on this account six still we haven't have anything in this but you can see that this is the wallet address 9955 now i will click on this and i'm going to log out from it so let me reload the browser because sometimes it will Sometimes it takes time to load the amount. So let me pass my credential and I'll click unlock. Still, we are connected. If I click on the MetaMask, still it's fetching the informations and we haven't have the balance in the account. So I, I'll come to the account two. And so this is the one I have the account two. This is the account three. None of these account has any fund, but it will work fine. Just wait. And what I can do is to fix this issue. Here we have the networks, all the networks. So maybe there is some cache in the browser. So what we can do is we can simply select the other network. So we'll select this one. And now we can come here, select this one. And let me switch back to the account too. Okay, here you can see finally the, the test ether arrived in our wallet. And now we can test that one. Okay, so in my case, it took a little bit time. But in your case, it will happen very quickly. If it taking too much time, make sure to close your browser and restart the application. It will work fine. Or maybe try to change the the networks and finally select the localhost that will also fix the issue so here we can see we have all the account and that's working fine if i come on come here and we have used account number two automatically when you will deploy the contract hardware will take the account number two 
actually account number one because how did give you close 20 account and it will always take the account number one for deploying your contract and that's why you can see that this particular account which i have imported which is in my metamask is account one and it got some less ether because we have used some ether to deploy our contract so hope things are making sense to all of you guys and now you have to clear all your history because sometimes the transaction will fail and that problem we are having in the metamask right now so make sure to clear all the history and things are looking fine and you can see all the account has the balance so this is the account 9955 and it has ether if you come here you can find that particular seven account account number seven and this much ether you will have in this now come back to the account two and now we're going to test the contract so let's come here here we'll click on this add tracking and we have to pass the receiver address so i'll come here i'll go to the account three i'll grab the address and come back to the account two and i will send that so this is the i will pick the date i'll pick the distance and i will provide the amount so we have a lot of ether so i will go with higher i'll go with higher amount and i'll click on this create shipment so it's going to open the metamask you can see we are making the transaction click on confirm and here the transaction went through and you can see we are fetching the information right here in the front end so we haven't paid so it, that's why i say not completed state is pending and things are looking fine let's create one more i'll base the same address pick the date 29 let me provide the distance 23 and the price is going to be a little less hit enter and here you can see click on confirm and here we have created the second product which we want to track on the blockchains so you can see things are looking pretty fine we have no issues in that now what i will do come here and sometime when you will try to make the transaction maybe your transaction will fail and you will get that zero address or 300 something code you will get so when you will get that error you have to simply clear your history tab clear your history activities and that will fix the issue that will fix the issue and now if i want to fetch the information about this particular tracking which i have created i have to simply pass the index so if i pass the zero index i will have the entire information about the first tracking we have created and this is indexing is a unique id of this particular transaction you can see we have all the stats if i go to one hit enter you can see this is the zero so both are working fine now we have to start the shipment because we have created the shipment and now we have to start and we have to change the status of the shipment so we have to pass the address of the receiver so this is the address which i'm going to provide and i have to pass the index one so the very first shipment we have created we have to start that one click on click on get detail or you can call it start shipment both is working fine click on this metamask and here we have that now we have to confirm the transaction and the transaction went through you can see here the status is changed to in transmit means the shipment is out for delivery so it's out for delivery and once this is a shipment is out for delivery so first you have to create the shipment once you create the shipment then you can then you have to start the shipment because if you start the shipment then you can only complete the shipment but if you simply call the complete shipment it's going to throw you an error because you have to start first then you can complete now we're going to simply complete that so to complete we have to provide the address and we have to provide the id so hit enter and it's going to simply call confirm and this will make the transaction you can see the product is delivered we have the timestamp we have paid and everything working fine so things are looking fine you can see you will see this is the amount is deducted from the wallet and here we have that one we got that back so that looks pretty fine we have the timestamps so things are looking fine we have no issues you can see that everything's working fine now let's come back to the code and things are looking fine so this is the exact thing you have to do if you really want to test the contract locally whatever i have explained so far that's the exact step you have to follow close all of this and now what we're going to do is we're going to deploy the contract to the polygon mumbai test network and we're going to do the exact thing which we have done here so simply close all of these tabs now open up your terminal now very first thing we have to do is come here and we have to delete this artifacts and the cache because when we'll deploy the contract to the polygon test network is going to generate that and we need that one so simply delete this one 
remove the cashew and come here and delete this one as well and we are clear okay so things are looking pretty clear to me and i forgot to tell you one thing that if you really want to install the packages with the help of npm for that you need to have node in your computer so if i show you i have this node dash v so this is the exact version i'm using make sure you, sh you should always use the latest version so i have installed node in my computer if you don't have node in your computer make sure to install that then npm install and npm i will work in in your computer otherwise it will not work if i check my npm version you can see this is the node version i have and if i take my npm version if i type npm version this is the npm version i'm using so make sure you should have this in your computer then you can run the commands very easily or you can install all of these packages very easily so to install that all you have to do is come back here and type node install install you will come to the website click on this and here from here you can easily able to install the packages so if you install node automatically the npm will come along with that so you can select windows if you're a window user you can select mac so click on window for windows and click mac for mac i don't know why i have clicked on this so what i will do i'll simply delete these two files come here and i need to delete this one i don't want to have it delete this delete this things looks pretty fine close this one and cut this come back to the vs code and looks pretty fine so again i want to tell you that you need to have nodes in your computer you need to have npm in your computer then you can install the packages we are installing otherwise it will not work things looks pretty good now clear the terminal and now we have to do a some, couple of important settings so to deploy the code to deploy the contract to the polygon test network so here we are in the script this is the exact piece of code we're going to deploy you will use a deploy script looks pretty fine now come back to the hardhead config file and here we have to do all the important configuration because without this configuration we cannot deploy our contract to any network so the method we're going to follow here for configuring our hardhead config file this is the exact method you have to follow no matter in which network you are deploying your contract whether it's a test network or a main network and i'm going to provide you this entire piece of code in the description so you can simply copy and you can paste here I will also provide you the RPC URL, my RPC URL, which you can use it in the project. So this is what we have right now. What I will do, I want to simply comment this portion. Select this one. I'm going to select this, comment this one, and I'm going to simply copy and paste the entire code. So this is the entire piece of code you have to write exactly the way I have written. So you can see here we have the private key. So this is the private key of my wallet, which I'm using for testing the contract. Again, it's not a real wallet address wallet private key it's just for testing perform which i use for making a tutorial so here you have to get your own private key again i will show you how you can get that so here you have to paste your private key and that's the only thing you have to do that's the only thing you have to do so make sure to copy this entire code from the description and put your private key so this is the rpc url for the mumbai and this is the default net so if you are deploying the contract to the main network you have to give the rpc url for the main network and you have to define the default network to the main network and this is the hard hat config file so here we are saying mumbai this is the rpc url and this is the account and this is the optimization we are doing for the smart contract and that's the exactly thing you have to do now let me show you how you can get this piece of code so click on come here in the metamask and i'm going to use polygon so this is the first account of my polygon so i will come here i will select the polygon mumbai so when you will install the metamask for the very first time you won't have this polygon by default you have to add manually i'll show you how you can do that so you can see here i have already have a couple of matic coin in the first account and this is the account i'm going to use to deploy the contract so you can see i have this much matic coin so come here so in your case if you are deploying your contract you have to have maticon in your wallet if you don't have then you can't deploy the contract so first thing you have to do is to get the faucet polygon faucet so this is the website we have click on this and from here you can get some free maticon which you for testing so make sure to copy the address and paste here and click on submit it's going to transfer three medicon to your wallet so right now you can see the transaction failed because i already done that in the morning and i already have couple of medicon in my 
wallet that is sufficient for making the transaction so if you don't have you will get Maticoin in your wallet that looks pretty fine so i have this much Maticoin. i'll simply come here so what i will do i'll simply click on that and i'm going to take the private key so make sure to connect the polygon mumbai so to connect if by default you will not have so to connect click on this click on this by and here you will find all the network which you have added in your metamask so by default you will have only ethereum and couple of test networks and but i have added this mumbai and polygon mumbai all of this to one manually so to add that one all you have to do is come here you can see this is the local host we have when we were testing the contract locally so click on this add network it will open this one and here you will find all the networks by default so if you don't find the mumbai test network here then you have to add it manually so you can see all of these networks are defined here you can simply click and you can add that one but come to the general and here you have to do a couple of important settings so we don't need to do anything in here come back to the advanced and make sure to clear all the history activities okay this is the thing which you have and here you have to simply turn on this one so when you will turn on this it will show all the test network in the metamath so you can simply test that okay make sure to on this one and looks pretty fine and here you will have all of these test networks so far like gorilla and other one so that looks pretty fine now come back to the networks and here you can click on this add network and here you will find this one add a network manually if you don't find the list here click on that if you don't find click on this and here you have to configure that name rpc url chain id currency symbol and this one is optional so if you come back here so this is the exact thing you have to provide polygon mumbai the name this is the rpc url which i will provide you in the description i will provide you simply copy that one and that's what i'm going to simply paste here this is the exact piece of rpc url we have here now this is the chain id this is the coin symbol and this is one is optional and save it so make sure you have to do all of this before we have to deploy the contract to the polygon and we have maticoin so everything is looking fine we are set for the deployment now what i will do come here and let me come and let me get the private key so you have to get your private key i already have simply click on export and you have to pass your password type your password and click on confirm and this will give you the private key simply grab that one and come back and here you have to put your don't use my put your so you can see this is the private key ha i have looks pretty fine and we have all of this so things are looking pretty good we are set for and that looks pretty good close this one and now we can deploy the contract so this time we're not going to run the hard hat node in our computer for deploying the contract because we are not using hard hat for local development we are using polygon so this is the exact piece of code you have to write npx hard hat run this is the script deploy we are saying network and network is the polygon mumbai this is the exact thing you have to type to deploy polygon space mumbai this is the exact thing you have to type now once you write this command you can simply hit enter and this will deploy the contract to the polygon first it will compile and just wait very soon the contract will deployed and here we got the address of our contract and this one is very important so once it will successfully compile it will create the artifact and cache you can go to the contract and simply drag and drop the package json file sorry drag and drop the json file of the contract abi abi of the contract so we are done with that looking absolutely fine no issues we have and simply come here copy this address and that's the address we have to paste here that looks fine so we have done all the setups now come back here in the polygon scan mumbai to check whether our contract is deployed or not so we'll say not metamask we have to say mumbai and head into click on the very first one polyscan mumbai polyscan and here you have to paste the address of the contract paste here head enter and this is going to give you the information about your contract you can see we have successfully deployed our contract to the polygon you can see this is the contract zero amount we have transferred at the time of deployment that looks pretty fine and all of the things are working absolutely great this is the contract right now you can find the contract because we have to verify the contract and if you don't know how to verify the contract i'll link the video and the i button in the description so you guys can follow that but i'm not going to do in this video so that looks pretty fine and all everything is set and now we can test this one so we have to start the application 
so we'll clear the terminal and we have to run the application because we are set for making the transaction on the testnet so npm run dev and here we are reload the browser and now we are actually connected with the polygon so let's come here account number one we have and let me log out for the metamask and click on right now you can see we have no tracking we have created so far it's absolutely empty absolutely empty so now what i will do i'll come here you can see things are looking pretty fine why i'm using this simply reload the browser and use this button to connect and we can say and unlock so here we have the address means we are connected with this application and we have Madi coin so we can make the transaction simply grab the address number two and come back to the one because if you really want to create any make any transaction or create any tracking you need to have some amount of Madi coin for doing that so i only have in my first account so that's why i'm using that click on this add tracking and let's create the tracking so here i have to provide the receiver address then i have to provide the date 29 let's say 30 and let's give the distance distance and let's provide the price so price is going to be 0 0.001 and i'm giving such a small amount because i don't have much i don't have much that's why i'm giving so much like very less click on this create shipment and it's going to make the transaction you can see this much amount i'm transferring click on confirm and the transaction is happening okay you can see in the local host the transaction went very quickly but here we are doing on the test network so it will take a little bit time so just wait it's happening and once the transaction will complete it's going to reload the browser and the transaction completed it will reload the browser and here you can see this is the first tracking we have created okay we have some issue the tracking data is not displaying the the tracking we have created is not displaying come back to the console and here you can see that we are getting this error message when we done the testing in the local host we were not getting any error because we have to do the configuration here so you can say error want error went getting shipment so we have error because we have to provide the rpc url we can't use the default one so here we are in the index so what i will do here this one is looking fine and if you really want to know that whether the transaction happened or not you can check here in the poly scan so you can come back here you can simply paste the address so let's take the address click the address paste the address here and click on this you can see this is the transaction we done this is the function we have called create shipment means we have successfully created our shipment to the network and when it's come to fetching this is the amount we have passed and when it's come to fetching we have to do the changes in the rpc url for getting the information from the test network we have to change the rpc url so this one is looking fine you can see the transaction went through let's come here and let's bring this down here we are in the tracking context file and here we have to do the changes so this is the fetch contract we have and this is the create we don't need to do any any changes in that and here we have to do the changes because here we are fetching all the contract from our contract get all contract shipment so here we can't use the default network we have to provide the polygon test network rpc url so you can see this is the default network we are using but we can't use the default one so what i will do i'm going to simply comment this one to provide the rpc url simply paste here so this is the exact rpc url again i will provide you in this in the hardware config file from there you can get it okay make sure to this is the changes you have to do all you have to do is that to provide the rpc url for the mumbai test network and that's well fix this issue now if you come back to the hardware config file this is the rpc url which i have provided you can use that one so this is the one setup you have to do now you can come here and if you reload the browser you can see here we got the data here we got the data so still we are getting and uh, still we are getting this error message error went getting shipment because we have multiple function in our context which are which need that rpc url but we have only provided in one get in one function get all shipment so we have to replace in all the places that will fix the issue but now you will find that it's working fine so here we got this one shipment we have created and that you will have all the information now this is the error message which is coming so simply cut this one and now you will find that this is the data we are fetching from the test networks state is pending not paid let's create one more let me grab the address so this time i'm going to take this account number four and come here and paste then i have to provide the date 
then I have to write the distance and the price which is I'll write let's say zero zero and one click on sh shipment okay nothing is happening why taking so much time now click on that okay so my bad my bad I'm account number four and I don't have anything into this so I will have to go into my account number one because I have Maticon in that and now I will click on this career shipment and it's going to make the transaction here we have now we are simply confirm it and just wait the transaction is happening behind the scene you can display the loader and here we have successfully created the shipment we have created the shipment it looks pretty fine so things are looking fine and now we can check the status so if i simply pass the index you can see it will not give me the data because i have to provide the rpc url in the function get single shipment it's not giving me the data so if i do the inspect element if i come here you can see i'm getting this error message sorry no shipment click on zigan i'm getting this one so what i will do i will simply grab this piece of code and that's the changes i have to do here and you can do the changes here as well you can see here we are using the same default network and we are fetching the information about the total count so you can provide this as well i will leave it that on you close this one and i'm going to do here get shipment so we are getting the single shipment details and that's what we have to change so simply come here minimize this one comment this and paste here and this will give the information about the single shipment save it shave it and just wait here we are and you can see if we pass the index i'll get the address it will take a little bit of time and finally we have the data we have the data so things are looking pretty good close this one and we can fetch the information now we can start the shipment because that's how it works first you have to create the shipment if you want to check the shipment status you can do that and now we have to start the shipment and then we're going to complete the shipment so click on the start shipment this is the one we have to call reload the browser and you can see i'm into the account number one i have to get the address so i guess account two i took i don't know i can go do inspect element and i have this arrays i can get the address from there the receiver address simply cl double click on that and let me get the address cut this one and here i'm going to provide the address of the receiver remove this comma double quote and remove this one as well and i have to go to the first first shipment which i have created so click on this first one click on this get details or you can say start shipment and here we have to confirm and here it's happening you can see the status is pending but the transaction is not completed yet so just wait make sure to reload the browser and still here you can see finally the transaction completed okay so when you will do the transaction on the test net it will take a little bit time so just wait or you can display the loader that's totally up to you so right now the product and the serve right now the product is out for shipment so that's why it say in transmit so we have changed the status now if i reload the browser you can see it will have the same status now we have to complete the shipment so means the receiver have received the product so now he will complete the shipment and the money will be transferred to him so here we have to pass the address so let me remove this double code and i have to simply pause this one and simply zero hit enter and then confirm it just wait click on this you can see the transaction is taking place once the transaction will complete reload the browser and here you will have the shipment to deliver and this is the timestamp when the shipment is delivered and the price and all everything is working fine everything is working fine so this is the exact thing you have to do okay this is the exact thing you have to do for getting data so this is the start shipment you don't need to do any changes in that and this is the connect wallet function we have connect wallet function and things are looking pretty fine things are looking pretty fine close this one close this one and this is the entire configuration you have to do if you want to deploy to the polygon test network and that looks pretty good to me to get the source code what you have to do is come back to the blockchain coder the source code section and from here you can download that one this is the section where you have to come and i will also provide the link in the description so you can come and you can download that one so click on this get now and you can get your source code whatever we have covered so far
you will get the zip file and that you will have the entire source code so i believe that you guys have got an idea that how you can initialize this project what are the configuration you have to do if you want to test locally and what are the configuration you have to do when you want to deploy the contract to the any test network and if you guys want to deploy and make this application live so other can utilize it on the internet so do let me know in the comment section that i want to deploy this application live so other can have access to that because right now we are running this entire application in our local environment and if you want to make access to other we can do that as well so do let me know if you guys want to have a video where we can deploy the con deploy this entire application then let me know in the comment section and i'm going to make it so that's the only thing i want to talk about hope you guys have found this video valuable so if you have any question any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that and if you haven't built this project i must tell you to build it will help you a lot to understand the smart contract the logic and how the blockchain exactly work